alligators can climb a six foot fence. Oh my gosh. Something you don't know. We oh have two gosh. alligators that were found living in people's bathtubs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am here at Animal Tracks Inc. I'm gonna allow you to introduce yourself. Hi Jasmine, I'm Stacy Gunderson, director here at Animal Tracks. I started doing this back when I was about 18, turning 50 this year. And so this has been a labor of love. Yeah. And we're a sanctuary that takes in exotic animals that need a home. How did it expand into what it is now? Really lucky, so I grew up in Simi Valley, played soccer, wanted to do something outdoorsy, went to Moore Park College, the exotic animal program. Great, oh, cool. great program. Got a, a two year degree in animal science and started to do stuff with animals, traveling around the world, training for movies and television. Always looked up to Jane Goodall. And my husband and I got married in 2001, had two beautiful children, and we couldn't both travel the world with animals. Right. So we had a friend who had the sanctuary that was gonna be liquidated. Okay. And we took it over. Wow. And my kids were probably two and a half and four and a half and we took it over. And my husband was sent off to a faraway place to make movies and I was here with two small children in a zoo. And those wow. early years were tough. I could only imagine, because now there's a whole team backing you with everything. And thank so, goodness. Touches. That team has taken so much pressure off and it has bloomed into this beautiful thing and we want to make it bigger and better. We were one of the few places where we want to teach you about primates. It's yeah. not about you touching the primates or them doing tricks. It's about you just appreciating the primates. Yeah, exactly. And, and getting to, to experience see, that. Yeah. Yeah. And by choice, if I could be in Costa Rica where these animals were actually in the wild, that would be the best. Right. But since they're stuck in captivity, yeah. if we were to take a monkey and put it in Costa Rica, it would be eaten by an ocelot Absolutely. in seconds, or it would eat something poisonous. So these animals are stuck in captivity because of humans. Exactly. So we want to give them the best. We're like a summer camp for monkeys. Yes, it's not like they're going out and buying these animals and saying, hey, come hang out in here. These animals have been surrendered or- Pet trade. Or, exactly. Mm -hmm. So so they end up here and they're giving them the best life that they can live until their time comes. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. You guys are going to be seeing what a day is like here, volunteering and what just their day-to-day -day tasks are like, while also getting to see a lot of the animals here so I'm really excited I'm gonna be a regular volunteer at this place I literally think it's absolutely incredible here I'm gonna leave all of their information linked down below website booking if you want to donate which is always really useful for a place like this I'll have all of that in the description box but thanks for letting us come in today and let's go and jump into all of the madness let's go pick up poop <laughs> yes Jasmine and Elliot. Elliot. Hi guys. Hi. 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 She's going to right. volunteer for us today. Woo. So we have a children's tour today at nice. 10 o'clock. So you'll kind of get to see what we do for kids. Cool. Wow. That is awesome. Generosity like that. Sure appreciate a warm room. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, do you smell that? I mean, for the camera. Oh, I, oh, I smell that. Anybody who <laughs> thinks you're going to find a marmoset, this is what your house is going to smell like. Oh, it's wow. Smell like a marmoset's butt. Look at that. I haven't seen oh, these ones before. Yeah, we tell everybody here at Animal Tracks that fingers taste like hot dogs. So, make sure you don't have <laughs> Don't put hot your dogs. finger in there. And, uh, Hi. she was a pet that somebody that didn't want her by herself. And it's super important. Marmosets are supposed to live in communities. And so, she has not yet been put in with ours but this is how they talk to oh each other. Oh my god, how cute is she? She's Hello. Really I know if I put my finger in there, you'll just rip it off, won't you? <laughs> like, this Marmosets are kind of like the movie Gremlins. Have you ever seen the movie? Yes! So they're little cute hog wise when they're happy and then... If when they, they get mad. Yeah, when they, they get mad, they become, become monsters. Very they have, like, yeah, the sharpest little teeth. Oh my gosh. So you want to see something really cute? Yes. So we have Frank the Tank, who's one of my boyfriends. Oh, there he is. oh I love him! Yes, the and armadillo. Three days of cold will kill an armadillo. Really? So that's why we have to make sure Frankie is warm at night. Oh and so God. he's gonna come out and meet you a little later. Oh, we'll let him what go back to bed. Cutie. And of course we have our business of ferrets. Yes. Our business of ferrets is called the business. Hi guys. Oh, they're, they're literally called the business. They're, called, they're doing their business Hi, right now. Cuties. And we're gonna run them outside oh. and put them in their big cage. Oh yay! You wanna help? I'm so happy. What right. we want people to know is the reason we have these animals is because people made that choice. And yep. a lot of times when an exotic animal dies in captivity, they die young. Marmosets live on average a year in a house. They can live 20 years here. And Whoa. it's because they're gum and sap eaters. Where do you buy gum and sap? Sorry, so please. if they're in a dark living room and they're not getting vitamin D from the sunshine, within a year, they'll pass away. Oh, and you know, it's like, I don't know, it died. But it probably died from a poor diet. Oh, that's terrible. This is our beautiful Kiva, and yeah. she'll come out for us later. And she's part coyote, wolf, and dog. She came from a true place where they were mistreated. It was yeah. a woman, an older woman, who uh, had too many dogs yeah. and didn't always have food. And so they were fighting for they were fighting each other and sometimes eating each other for food. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. So 
They don't bite because they're mean. They bite because they're just not that smart. Oh, really? Not saying it in a mean it way. <laughs> their brain is teeny tiny. Oh, you guys are so cute. They're very reactional. And there, when they get scared, they kick with that foot. That toe looks like a T-Rex foot. Oh, it does. And it can disembowel a human being. Oh, my god. And they can run away at 30 miles an hour. Wow. But in California, you can have one if you have horse property without what? a permit. You cannot have a sugar glider, a ferret, or a hedgehog. But, but you, you can, can have, have an emu. emu. I don't what make the rules. The sense in that? And sometimes I wonder about the rules. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> look at them and say, you're a boy, you're a girl. There's no dimorphism. Oh, really? Okay. So what you have to do is wait till they make noise. So the female drums, and you feel it in your chest, and the really? male growls. That's so fascinating. Isn't that awesome? So now we're gonna go to Patagonia. Do you want to show them Dobby really Here's quick? Dobby. Here's Dobby, and oh. Allison is Dobby's main mama. Yes, you are. If oh, I tried to Dobby. hold Dobby like Allison, he wouldn't like that. Oh he loves really? <laughs> oh, he's so bonded to you. Carrie, yesterday, she's like, "Please go get him. He doesn't <laughs> like me." <laughs> is he they purring? Can they can purr. I feel mm -hmm. the little vibration. Yeah. yeah. Are you but he's actually a little chilly. Oh. I just got him out of his. Oh he's yeah, got, you He's got a cold. heating pad oh, in his penthouse pad up there. How long did it take for? him to get bonded to you. He let her almost the day he met her. You know, everybody has their thing. Yes. And Allison has a thing with foxes. It's pretty magical. Really? I don't know why, because I never worked with them before. Really? But yeah. And it just, when you yeah. came across them, it was Hidden just an automatic. She didn't know. Yeah. That's amazing. Show off. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, let's show the that is one of the cutest animals I've ever seen. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> so this is an entire yard for our wolves or our dogs, and it goes wow. all the way to the house. Hey guys, come on in. So I'm just gonna ask you to stay about a foot back from these okay. guys, because they can be pretty crafty. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Heck it up, guys. So this is Chatter and Roxy. They were both truly wild raccoons. They were born in the wild. What happened with him was he uh, was rejected by his mom when he was itty bitty. So somebody found him and took him to a rehabber and she raised him with two other ones and then went to release them in the woods and she got them all out and they put their crates down and opened them up and the other two took off right away. She turned around to get in her car and he went over and he hugged her leg. No. Oh my God, <laughs> that's gonna make me cry again. So, oh my then gosh. what happened with him was she took him further into the woods and put him up in a tree and ran back and he chased the car. No. So he obviously has no fear of people. Oh, That's not my, a good thing. Right. So he was deemed yeah. not releasable because of that. Oh, so no, we don't know if they'll ever be able to be interacted with by the public. Right. I was drawn to them because they were youngsters at yeah. the time. Oh, so. yeah. Right, Bob. Hello. Hello. I right. wanted to know if we could steal them for just a minute. <laughs> you guys want to come with me? Yes. This is the queen of animal tracks. This is Chrissy. Yes. And I love she might her. say hello to you. Oh, good. She says, Hi. What she did is she just asked you to touch her. So you want oh. to very gently lift the fur. And that's her greeting to you. Oh, is it? And a baboon greeting a stranger is really awesome because normally a stranger would be scary. Yeah. But nobody here is mean to Chrissy. So Chrissy doesn't have any fear. We don't let anybody touch her stuff. That's one of the things yes. in animal tracks. You don't touch their things. And then they don't feel protective. Hi, so we're gonna go put her in her house. She wants you to touch her again. Oh yes, I will happily. What's so funny is you can see how she's physically asking you. Okay, yeah, touch right. Me. She's like, come now, on. Now when you touch her, that's her saying we're friends now. Oh good. And then this is what Chrissy gets for breakfast. Oh, this that looks breakfast. delicious. Look at her. She's like, yep, so, that's neat. Come on, let's go have breakfast. I, I'd really like to point out Bill. Bill is one of our Thank wonderful you. volunteers here at Animal Tracks. He gives his heart and his soul to us. And if you'll notice, Bill, if you'll lean down, it's super important for Chrissy to have boys in her life. And so you saw it earlier. Chrissy came over and greeted Bill. And this is a typical greeting she's asking him to touch. Aww. And it would normally be scary for a big tall guy like Bill right. or a female. But uh, once again, because everybody, she's the princess here, she expects nothing but love. Oh. It makes her feel good to know that there's people like Bill here protecting the place. Yeah, absolutely. So that we're not taken over by intruders. So Bill has a big job. He cleans poop and he protects the joint. <laughs> I Bill, love it. I'm gonna <laughs> she lay this out for her. Her Game of Thrones blanket. She's a big fan. Oh, I love it. Who doesn't love Jon Snow? Literally. All right, come on over here, Booney. It's all yours, my love. There you go. I just realized, what is the story of how you guys acquired her? Chrissy was part of a trio of monkeys. I worked in the movie industry, as did my husband. Okay. And a friend of ours had three baboons for the movie industry. She never wound up in the movie. They, they filmed three little baboons, but uh, their part was cut. Oh. And that was her only claim to fame. Oh, Chrissy. And with the other two baboons, she was getting picked on. Her trainer said, why don't you guys take her, her owner, who we are very good friends with. And she's been the queen here ever since. Now yes, the good news has. is with her new house, you get a new house. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Um, she'll be able to have that? a, that was love. She just grabbed your face we and- We said we loved each other, so lip smacking is love. And wow. teeth are weapons, unless you're friends. Then it's a smile. Yeah, I saw her friends, literally smile at you mm -hmm. and grab your face. That was the most precious thing I've ever seen. So when we come in in the morning, the first thing we have to do is get everybody's fresh diets that were made the day before. Right. And then we go in and we clean up any current poop. We make sure they have fresh dry blankets. We make sure their heaters work. And we check on the animal's general health. Come on in. Oh my goodness. So what I have you do is go over to this stump over here or that okay. stump right there. Cool. This is Shy. Shy? Shy era, shy for short. I call her Shy Shy. She's a red fox. Wow. She was bred this color for the pet tray. So naturally this occurs less than 5%, less than 10% of the time and they would not survive for lack of camouflage. Wow, oh for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, she's my so goodness. cute. Can I say, Come here. Oh, so they really do they're have very, the they're very vocal. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> get her, oh. get her. <laughs> And she's doing soft puppy teeth with me, just like a dog yeah. does. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh she's my goodness. so vocal. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hello. We got her all the way from Provo, Utah. I'm, uh, yeah, in Utah, depending on what city you live in, it's legal to own a fox. Oh, I was like, I didn't even know that people could just buy a fox. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the exotic wow. pet trade is kind of crazy. That's so. insane. Like, you could just go onto a website and just the way that you would buy a, a puppy from a breeder. Yeah, exactly. Wow. In 38 states, you can own whatever you want, including a lion, tiger, or a bear. It's crazy. 38 states? Yes. Yeah. He's so <laughs> yes. yes. Now you know what the fox says. Yeah. Right. I, <laughs> do you funny. guys want to come down and see where the monkeys live? Yes. Come with me. All Let right. me open this up for cool. you. Thank you. Monkeys are kind of our specialty here. Yeah. And so Squirt is our alpha mama. She's about 25. Wow. And Macy is a, a youngster. She's adopted. Macy is now seven. Oh. And these two were sleeping in the warm barn. And now you can see they're not wearing any leashes. Yeah, they're not. And we're gonna go let them get in their house and get in their warm tube oh, and uh, come out and start their day. And she's telling you she loves yes. you. Now it's very important she'd be very nurturing with you. She'd be a little nervous of him. Oh, okay. Because she would be a female-oriented family right. that would help raise each other's babies. Oh. So if something happens to me, you're her auntie. Did you see how she was yes. working on, she was telling that she likes yeah. you. So you would be allowed in oh, her family. That is so sweet. Now, Squirt's the one you'd really have to win over. And she'll do all these sweet things and call you into the cage. But then when you do, you have to do her laundry and her bills. So <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't get trapped. <laughs> Now the kangaroos do get to come out and exercise. The kangaroos can't back up, so you gotta give them time to adjust. You guys are perfect right okay, there. Cool. And they're gonna come out and see where their breakfast is. <laughs> and then there's really no rush. Sometimes if they absolutely won't go, we just wanna show them where it is, we'll encourage. Yeah. But it's really up them to go. You can see, going right in. Perfect, on the butt is their favorite part. Oh, really? Their eyes are bulgy, so they don't like their heads touch much. Oh, gotcha. But they love a good butt scratch. Yeah, and he likes his chin scratch, right? Oh. Here, right like this. Oh, oh I'm he's a, loving it. I'm a wallaby. So come check this out. So this is important. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This is from living in the desert. So obviously an animal can't drink. An alligator couldn't get out of that. So yeah. we have to make sure the water is heated for our alligators. And we have it to make like, sure that it's removed. Now, it would melt eventually, but it'd be slow to melt. So we just... Get rid of it, and we leave it in here yep. for them to play with. Cool. We're gonna put their buckets in here, and we're gonna put them in different spots so nobody can hog it. And what we're gonna do, and believe it or not, we're gonna do a little instruction. <gasps> People come in here, they do something I call crop circles. Okay. So they do this, they go. <laughs> and then they pick it up. And then they come over here, and they do another crop circle. Okay. And they're in here three hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they take a ton of dirt. Now we've had rain, so the dirt is oh, compacted. Oh, right. But dirt is heavy. Yeah. So you take your little scooper and you fill it with dirt and poop, and then we go to dump that trash can and it weighs like 200 pounds. Oh my gosh. So we call it the flick. What we're gonna do, this is gonna take us about five minutes. Okay. I'm gonna turn this way so that you guys <laughs> can the three hours. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this, a line. Okay. So we're gonna rake everything out towards the trash can. And we're just gonna rake everything that way. <laughs> we'll be done here in two minutes. All right. Now, have a look. It took us two minutes. That was so easy. Yeah. And their bedroom is clean, no crop circles. It looks amazing in and here. We're gonna push 
You have to rake around the kangaroos. They don't move for you. Yes. <laughs> I know. I, I actually was worried that they would get scared, but they're just like, what, what's up? What's going on? I think they think it's funny to get in the way. You need job. It is. And honestly, like, we're going to take our little bucket here, and we're going to do the flick. So we start at the top, and we flick in the light stuff. Trying to get as little dirt as oh, possible. Oh, yeah. And it's super, feel how light that is. When a newbie oh, yeah. comes in here, this is so heavy you can barely dump it. <laughs> so now we want to re-rake that into a circle. Okay. My hands are so cold. Freezing, I can't even. <laughs> I, can't, I can't feel my toes yet. Yeah, okay, give it a shot. Okay. Good. Tracks flick. Awesome. Am I doing okay? You're doing great. <laughs> is everything clear, Bill? Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the kangaroos come out and run around. Awesome. <laughs> How? Oh my gosh. Oh, Winston. <laughs> so Sarah Jessica Porker here is an example of a micro mini pig. When she came to us, she could fit in the palm of your hands and she was the cutest thing you ever saw. But there is no current such thing as a micro mini pig. This is what they become. And you can see she's a full figured woman. <laughs> they are currently working on a version in Japan, but it does not yet exist. So okay. if you get a pig, it will fill out. And you would have met Little Bear on the tour. Stink, he doesn't normally come out because he's still new oh, to us. Oh yeah, I think he came out, but we didn't pet yeah. him. It was just like, we got to just look at him. So he is still a baby. Oh, oh my gosh. He was yeah. born in the spring, we think. Hi, my love. He's so cute. So that means that he is still a biter sometimes. He lets me play with him, but other people he will mess up. How long did it take for you to bond with him? Well, so he still had a stinker when he came to us. Oh, okay. And I took that risk a lot. So really? he went, you must be cool. You <laughs> You're must be okay. getting gassed by me. He still thinks he has a stinker, so sometimes he will flag his tail. <laughs> I um, saw him do that when, yeah, when he'll go, went in. Yeah, he'll go, woo! <laughs> Look at what I'm packing! Hello. But he is a cutie, he is learning. Oh, he's so cute, hello. Yes. And then he turns into a piranha. <laughs> Very quickly. Right. So he can bite Little Bear and play in a way that their skin's gonna protect <laughs> them. He puppy bites me, cause he yeah, knows. Yeah, he knows, right. But if it was somebody else, like if you tried to sit here and poke his belly, oh, he'd, he'd piranha bite I, you. I would literally have blood seeping from my fingers. Yeah. Look how chill he is with you. He's literally closing his eyes and going to sleep. Oh, that was yeah. horrible. Oh, hello. Which is a horrible thing to do to a monkey. <laughs> horrible thing to do to anybody. <laughs> I totally agree, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. I'm quite fond of him. <laughs> Never mind. Uh -huh. I'm oh, serious about it. Oh, Hold I'm on. so happy right now. <laughs> Macy, on the other hand, is really friendly with you. She yeah. said nice things to you earlier. Yeah. And she that's really because you're good. feminine. She can tell you're feminine right. from your pheromones. And so she has some cute hair dance in Oh, I just wouldn't grab And she's taking care of you. You know you don't she, have bugs. I know. I, I was like, is she trying to find bugs in yeah, my hair? Yeah, she's trying. You don't have any. We know that. And if you did, you wouldn't leave with them. Oh, they'd, no, they'd, they'd be gone. So um, okay. the monkeys do that to people they like. Oh, I'm so And she's happy. a little chilly. Yeah, right I can tell she's doing little like shakes. She's so warm up in here. Oh. So you're obviously a very loving soul because she has picked you out as a friend. I'm so And monkeys rarely do that. Really? Yeah. They rarely turn their back to a stranger. But now you'll notice that Luke Skywalker and Bill are hanging out once again, same reason. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Bill yeah. is oozing masculinity. <laughs> and Luke and him are the boys. Hey Macy. You guys are best buddies. We are. You're gonna find all kinds of good stuff in your hair when you get home. Yes. Wait here. I don't have much left to but. Okay. So she loves Macy. Oh Macy's her girl, God. and she's lip smacking. Can you see her lip smacking? Yes. She's telling Macy that she loves her. Oh, Macy's that is like, just absolutely the greatest thing in the entire world. How pretty yes. Alice's hands are. He has some weird attraction to Alice's hands. He has fetish with me. He's very <laughs> inappropriate with my hand. Oh, have you tried that one? So that's happy. Yeah. Pig noises. Yeah, it is a pig noise. That's her happy noise. She loves her. They're not very nice. Oh, yeah. Mother Nature leaves a yes, hungry Yes, but in my face, <laughs> thank you. So what she's asking is if we will go through her fur right oh. now. So you just gently want to lift the hair and look for bugs, and then every now and then you pretend like you eat one. That's so you're doing your job correctly. Perfect. And if you want to make her feel better, you say, mm, mm, mm. And that tells her that you speak baboon. And this actually releases endorphins, so it feels really good. Really? So when you do this to a baboon, they don't like that. Gotcha. But it's the lifting of the hair that they like. And you'll notice that she lays with her head off the table. 
That's because oh, yeah. things would sneak up on you in the wild. Oh, so she wants Jack to be wires, the boom, vipers, things like that. So she can see what's under the table so nothing can sneak up on her. Oh. Now, people make the mistake sometimes they think she's going to fall and they go to catch her. Oh. Which is highly offensive. Yeah, she would probably be so... She thinks that they're trying to grab her. Gotcha. So she, they like their reflex is super yes. intense. But she reads that differently. <laughs> She's so rude. <laughs> you're allowed to be rude when you're about to. Sometimes she burps, right? Does she? Oh, yeah. If she's cold, you can imagine how long it would take for the sun to go through this thick fur. Right. But if she puts this naked skin in the sun, she can warm up very fast. Right, yeah. So she puts her butt in the air a lot. She just warms up your naked butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a good shot. see it on her face. Really? She's like, I'll just stay right here. <laughs> her like okay. fur and stuff is shifting around too back here. Yeah, that's if she likes what you're doing as well. Around. <laughs> she's so concentrating on what you're doing, she stopped eating. And that's saying a lot because Chrissy never stops eating. <laughs> you're making the right noises, you're making the right gestures. She's like, all right, she's she's doing good. I can I can continue eating. <laughs> That's content. I can just tell that she's she's digging it. She's giving you all. She's opening her neck up so that yeah. you can get up in the neck area. There you go. Perfect. All right, nice. Yeah, she's doing a good job. I think Mandy's done too. Do the. Mm, yeah. Did you feel her? Let me show you how to love on her. Peek a boo! 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 Peek a boo!
spectacular day. day. Oh, you did great. Tracks. Thank you. I got to bond with, with the baboon. Yes. I got to bond with Macy. Yes, I'd say as a spectator, you have some monkey pheromones going on. She I really, honestly felt that She took that you too. like an auntie. Yeah, yeah, I was very excited. It's definitely an incredible experience and I felt the love from all of you guys and also from all of the animals too. So again, guys, check out Animal Tracks. You will not regret it. Come here, spend some time, and know that the money that you do spend to be here is going towards an amazing cause and towards running this facility. But seriously, thank you so thank much you. for having us thank today. You. I cannot wait to be back, probably next week. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Make sure to check us out on Instagram. Check out their Instagram. Again, everything linked down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, uh, uh.